guys, what's up? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Now today we're actually going to be talking about another Disney topic and I'm probably going to start a playlist that's pretty much like tips and tricks for Disneyland because I'm pretty much like I wouldn't say like an expert on Disney but I know a lot about Disney and I've been so many times in my life. I'm so fortunate for my parents who took me when I was a kid all the time. So today what we're gonna be talking about is Disney dining and where you should definitely eat while you are there. If you're going for the first time and you are planning it currently, I would definitely recommend making reservations for a lot of the places that I am going to recommend. So let's begin. So a lot of people know about this place, but obviously it's number one on my list. If you're going to go to Disneyland and you are willing to pay the money for a nice dinner or lunch, I would definitely, definitely recommend the Blue Bayou restaurant. And if you you don't know what that is the blue bay restaurant is the restaurant that is located inside of the pirates of the caribbean ride it's the restaurant that you're going to see as soon as you get on the boat and the overall ambiance of the whole entire restaurant is just amazing it really makes you feel like you're on the ride while eating dinner it's really the only kind of restaurant that you're going to have like that in disneyland so i would definitely recommend it i would definitely recommend it for couples rather than people with children just because it's a really dark room and it's kind of more on that romantic side however if you do want to bring your kids that's totally fine I think that they would love the experience next on my list is just a walk up kind of dining place and it is the French market that is in New Orleans Square this place is absolutely amazing one time when I wasn't feeling good while we were there I actually went to the French market just to get some food in me and I ordered the corn chowder that they serve inside of a bread bowl and it was absolutely to die for I immediately felt better and I honestly could have eaten two of them. I would definitely recommend this if you're just looking for like a quick place to eat. This is definitely the place for you. It has great food and really good service. It does get a little busy though, so I would, I would definitely keep that in mind if you don't want to be around a lot of people at once. You also do have to find your own table once you get your food, so that is another thing to keep in mind. The last one that I'm going to recommend in Disneyland Park is the Rancho Del Zocalo Restaurante. And that one is actually located in Frontierland and it's amazing Mexican food. They have amazing burritos and tacos and everything. Thing. It's another restaurant that's just a walk-up service. It's another good one if you're just walking around the park and you're getting really hungry. If you're in Frontierland, I would definitely recommend that restaurant. You just go ahead and wait in line and you order your food and then you go find a place to sit. I haven't ever had a problem trying to find a seat there, so there's a lot of seating, so I don't think that you would have to worry about that depending on how packed it is in the park that day. Alrighty. Now, looking at California Adventure, there is a lot of places to eat and a lot of them are really, really good. But one restaurant that has been there for so long that I would definitely recommend is the Pacific Wharf Cafe. That one is actually right across the bridge or you can walk to it from Cars Land and they sell amazing clam chowder bowls. If you're not a clam chowder person, they definitely have a lot of other options, but I go there every single time for the clam chowder bowls. And that restaurant has been open for so long, as long as I can remember, as long as I was going there as a kid, we would always stop and get clam chowder bowls. I think the ambiance of the Pacific Wharf Cafe is also really great because you get to sit like pretty much on a wharf and it really makes you feel like you're in San Francisco, California. Now, right across the way is a wine tasting place, but it's also a restaurant, and it's an amazing restaurant if you wanna sit down and dine. Again, I would definitely recommend this one for couples rather than family, but like I said, you could definitely bring your family if you want to. This place is called the Wine, Wine Country Trattoria, I think it's called. Wine Country T Trattoria. <laughs> this one's called the Wine Country Trattoria. I can't say it. This restaurant is called the Wine Country Trattoria. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen here. <laughs> that restaurant is really great because they have the World of Color dinner there. So you get a separate menu for the World of Color and you order from that menu, which is very pricey. So if you're not looking forward to spending a lot of money on a dinner, I wouldn't recommend that. However, when you do order it from the World of Color menu, you get fast passes to a really great view of the World of Color. And I think, in my opinion, it's totally worth it unless you wanna just like wait around for a good spot for a couple hours. That's what I usually do if I don't have the dinner tickets. So this next one is actually just a walk-up food place again, and this is in Cars Land. Now in Cars Land, there is Sally's Cozy Cone. And if you don't know, if you haven't been to Cars Land yet, they made those into walk-up food service places. So one of the cones is an ice cream cone place and oh my gosh they have the best ice cream cones 
every single time I am there. Since they opened Cars Land, I've always had to get their ice cream cones because they are so good. It's soft serve and I always get like the swirl. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. But they also have like, I think like a nacho one and a french fry one, like a garlic fry or something like that. But they have like a bunch of different cones, obviously. And each cone has like different food. So I would definitely recommend that if you're in Karzan and you're like looking for a sweet tree or some like french fries or something, I would definitely, definitely recommend that. I think they have churros over there too. I'm not really sure. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. It is a little short, I know. I don't have that long of a list for food places, but I will definitely be cranking out more videos on Disneyland. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.